This morning, we're dedicating a majority of Great Day Live to hearing from voices from all over the community in light of the protests, which have not only been a part of our community over the past several days, but have ignited all over the country. Farah Alexander, who is a mother of a wife, lives in Southern Indiana, is one of those individuals who's decided that the way that she needs to respond to what's occurring in our world right now was to attend the protest. Farah, thanks for joining me this morning. Now, thank you so much, AJ. What is it about, I mean, what's happening that compelled you to say, you know what, I need to go and physically be a part of this? Absolutely. Well, I, I simply couldn't sit back and watch anymore. I think it's very important, and I wrote about this a little bit in my book that's coming out, that it's not enough anymore for us to just simply be not racist. We all need to actively be anti-racist and we all need to take a stand in whatever way is most appropriate for us. And for me, um, over this past weekend, I wanted to be a part of it. And I wanted to do that in a way that was comfortable for me. I wore a mask, I practiced social distancing to the best of my ability. And um, I left before I ever felt unsafe or uncomfortable. What did you see during that time? I mean, because we have seen the majority of, I mean, all of the big media outlets, you know, whether it's from radio, TV, Courier Journal, et cetera, I mean, have shown the majority was, it was peaceful protests in different locations around the city. There was an awful, awful hours, especially in particular on Friday, where mm -hmm. business were completely destroyed by a, a minority, by looters. But so what did you see when you were out there firsthand? Right. Um, when I was there, I saw a lot of people who found solidarity in each other. And it was very peaceful. There are a lot of people who are very rightfully angry. And I think they found a little bit of comfort in people standing together. On that evening, there was a group of white women who stood in front of uh, Black pro protesters to protect them and let them know that they're there. And I think that was a really big, important message to pass on, that we as white people will be here, we will show up, we will bring our bodies to protect you and stand with you. And so that's what I saw on Friday. I saw people getting together and praying. As, as a white woman, this is something, I mean, you have over the years really evolved into, I mean, from a wife and then a wife and mother, um, a, a writer and mm -hmm. someone who's definitely certainly creative into a bona fide activist. I am, your book, Raising the Resistance, A Mother's Guide to Practical Activism is coming out August 11th. I mean, you were mm -hmm. picked up by a publishing company and that's a really, really big mm -hmm. deal. You are also part of Every Town Authors Council partnering with Moms Demand Action for Gun Violence. You're mm -hmm. a Jeremiah Fellow with Ben the Ark, a Jewish Partnership for Justice. Not everybody is able to, for a variety of reasons, be an mm -hmm. activist, so regardless of mm -hmm. what our, our color or our, ethnic, our ethnicities are. What mm -hmm. practical, just even advice would you offer for what can people do right now? There are many, many avenues of activism, especially right now um, through social media. There are many, many, many opportunities for people who care about this issue to voice their opinion. So number one, I think we need to approach this a certain way. Like I said, we need to practice anti-racism. It is not enough to sit back and say, this is really unfortunate and this makes me sad, but I am not the problem. I am not a racist because as white people, this is our responsibility to approach this problem. And so we need to approach this. And when we say Black Lives Matter, that is not a radical statement. We all need to be comfortable with saying that and then proving that with our actions. And so there are many, many ways that you can help. Um, you can follow Black Lives Matter Louisville or in whatever city you're in. And we really need to defer to Black leadership. The organizers in our community have been doing this for a long time. They know what they're doing and we need to let them lead. And um, they're usually very vocal about what they need help with. 
and um, you don't necessarily have to go to a protest. I know a lot of people are uncomfortable. We're in the middle of a pandemic right now, so I understand that people may not want to attend a protest with hundreds of people right now. So um, some people are funding um, bail for protesters who get arrested. That's something that you can do. You can amplify the messages from Black Lives Matter Louisville and other organizations and people who are important to you. Um, you can absolutely vote. Um, and you can use your dollars, use your time, use your voice to make a difference. Well, Thera, I really appreciate you taking the time and cannot wait for your book to come out. Kudos to you, you for that. Thank you so much, Farah. Thank you so much, Angie. It's been a pleasure.